Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. What do you have here? I have a 1963 Frank Sinatra Invitational Golf Putter. Okay, you know how Frank Sinatra played golf? No, I don't. He played it my way. <laughs> <laughs> I was moving into my house, and the putter was sitting in the closet. I'm really not a Frank Sinatra fan. I'm pretty old, but I'm not that old. I don't need it, and golf is boring. <laughs> Are you a golfer? Um, <laughs> I golf a little bit, so I know a little bit about Sinatra and his game. <laughs> what is your handicap? I don't know. It's pretty up there. I don't keep that close to score. <laughs> no, this is pretty cool. Um, if I remember, this was given out as, like, uh, basically, if you yeah. were a big wig and you spent a lot of money and gave a donation, they gave you one of these. It was a pretty cool event in 1963. It brought out all the good golfers, all the major celebrities. They wanted to pay tribute to Frank Sinatra, and they wanted to raise money for the Frank Sinatra Foundation. So this was a good way to do it. it. Must have been amazing to go to one of these big events. All the golf stars, everyone from Hollywood would be there. I could definitely see myself hanging out in that crew. OK, yeah, Frank Sinatra right here, 1963 Invitational. And it has a little picture of him. It's pretty cool. How much do you want for it? I want 20000 20000 yeah. wow. I know I've heard of him going for a lot of money before, but that's pretty crazy. I don't know exactly how much it's worth, though. Do you mind if I call my buddy? He owns a sports shop right down the street, so. OK. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks. I'm really happy that he's going to bring in an expert just to validate everything that we already know. So this is the Frank Sinatra putter, huh? Yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna start crooning on me, are you? <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. Take a look at this and tell me what you think. Well, these were issued exclusively for the 1963 Frank Sinatra Invitational Tournament. The whole time frame of golf, you know, during the 50s and 60s, it was a really great time for the sport. I mean, we had Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, and when those two guys got together, it gained national media exposure. And with media exposure came bigger purses and came bigger, you know, a lot more of attention to the sport. Uh, McGregor made the putters, and um, I believe there's 150 of these that were issued to all the attendees that came. The Hollywood Elite and all the other great golfers at the time who were lucky enough to get invited to this tournament. Dude, I wonder if Arnold Palmer was there. This could be his freaking putter. He very well could be. I mean, it was a very short list of the who's who of celebrities of golf in Hollywood. So, I mean, it could have been like Sammy Davis Jr., Jack Nicklaus. I mean, these were issued to the exclusive who's who's. 1963 Frank Sinatra Invitational Tournament was actually a PGA-sanctioned tournament. Old Blue Eyes put on this event. It was a big deal. So you think it's real or not? These are pretty rare, so I mean, definitely let me check it out because unfortunately, like a lot of sports memorabilia, you always have to be aware of fakes out there. So right. let me have a look. It's got everything you want to see on the head here, from uh, the Sinatra caricature to the name, McGregor's who made, who made the putter. When you look at the grip, the original grip was a black leather grip with the gold band going around circular down, down the handle here. Another thing you always look for, whenever looking at one of these, you always have to measure them just to be sure. So we want to see 35 and a quarter was the length that when McGregor made these. And if you look there, we get it right on the money here. That is right there on the nose, just over 35. So that's, that, that's a really good sign. This is an authentic putter, and uh, it's a really neat piece of golf memorabilia. So how much do you think it's worth? Right after the Invitational, these putters were actually featured in newspapers and magazines. And when the public found out about them, they were raving. They wanted them, but nobody could buy one. You got to remember, everybody at the event was either a somebody in Hollywood or you know an established golfer. With these putters, I've only heard of maybe a couple of dozen that exist these days. Yeah. So these are amongst you know some of the most rare and collectible items in golf memorabilia today. We had to wait around 30 years for these to finally come into the market. These were going for twenty, thirty thousand dollars a piece. Then comes the late 90s, the internet, and the fact that as time goes on, we have less and less Sinatra fans out there. We've seen the prices steadily decline over the years. Most recently, they sell for as little as 1,500 bucks. So the prices really come down quite a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, that tells me what I need to know. Thanks, Jeremy. You got it, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. Frank Sinatra was a known avid golfer during the 1950s and 60s. As the popularity of the sport was rising, his endorsement on the Invitational was a big success for the sport of golf. Unfortunately, these days, as the market's kind of calmed down, as well as Sinatra's fans, we've seen the prices dwindle over time. So are you still looking to sell it? Uh, yes. How much do you want for it? 1500 <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, I might not even be able to get that out of it. 
Well, I'll make you an offer at 500 bucks. No, I'm gonna probably hang on to it. Okay, all right, thank all right. you. Thank you, yeah. thanks. I was shocked, <laughs> really shocked. But I'm just gonna keep it and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely not gonna take up golf and I really hate golf now. <laughs> That's, I really hate it. <laughs>